Meanwhile, back on first gen, our hero had just found a room. Let's watch. So, um, I just found this room with a black square in the middle, so uh, I'm assuming that has to happen. Oh, wow, would you look at that? I was right. Ooh, treasure chest. Doink. Ooh. You got bombs. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right. Changed it this time. Use the C to lift and place it. Use C while running to throw it. If you see something suspicious, bomb it. Never play this game and then go on to into the airport, people. Ever. Oh yeah, he's just fine from that fall. You know, normally, you know, nothing would it. Oh crap. That's big. That is um Can you turn the uh, screen around? Please? I'd like to see this thing. Holy crap. That thing is huge! Infernal dinosaur, by the way. Oh, by the way, screw, um, Durango or whoever, um, whoa! Holy. Now, anyway, screw the, uh, the chief of the Gorons. He sent me in here to kill this thing. I am a child, people. A child. How the heck am I supposed to? Okay. Enough said. Still, the point being is, um, is he really expecting, you know, kid to be able to do this? This thing's called an infernal dinosaur. Ow. An infernal dinosaur. I mean, that's kind of demonic sounding, isn't it? This thing's just freaking huge. I mean, if this... If this thing was around in, like, prehistoric times, just nothing would have survived. Really? Really? Was that easy? God, I haven't played this game in a while. I thought that thing was harder. It's either that or I've got... It's with a giant spike! Alright. I'd like to point out, there's only one way into this room. No way out. A. How does that thing keep eating Gorons? B. Why is there a giant pit of lava in the middle if this is the only place it lives? Honestly. Alright. Time to rip up my stomach and add another heart to it. Oh, did you not know that that's how Link, uh, you know, gets more life? He just adds hearts to his stomach? Yeah. Yeah, dark. Alright. Always step into the blue light. Unless you're dying, then don't step into the blue light. Public service announcement. All right, well, that was easy. I had to go find Randy Savage. Oh, whoa, okay, I just found him. All right, here we go again. Oh, he's smiling this time. It's me, Durana, well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from Dogongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. That is a disturbing image. What a wild adventure! It will make an incredible story! Let me tell you something. I can't believe that the Dodogangos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave! They couldn't move it? Or eat it? All is trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, brother. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Yeah. Kid, I like you. Yeah. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Yeah, why not? I'd like to do that. No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Ugh. Man, Edley Duride's right. That voice kind of hurts you. And I know I'm doing it terribly. Hmm. 
That's some interesting imagery right there. What if anybody, one passerby, just walked around, just looked around the corner, and just said, "Hey, um, you uh, you see the chief of the Gorons there? Yeah, he's uh, why is he standing like that? With that, with that, that Kuroki kid. You know, the green one, the little green guy. And there's something floating in the middle. What the heck? Is that the ruby? The hell's he giving the ruby to that guy? I gotta talk to him." You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones and have one more to find. Oh boy, here we go again. <clears throat> Brother, you'll keep push brushing. You'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. I wonder what he means by... Oh, dear. This is going to be interesting. You did it! How's about a big Goron hug? <laughs> oh, God, I love how he just runs terrified from them. I mean, seeing their general size and knowing their general strength, that would actually be terrifying to get, you know, a... Actually depending on who you are. That would be borderline terrifying to get, get, like, you know, a bear hug by one of those guys. Then throw around rocks all day. That would be a hell of a hug. I mean, damn. You talk about iron grip. Oof. Rock. It was our... Oh, Jesus. You see, that's why you take out the first rock. Thank you, Other Hephaestus. Thank you. Now... On to more pressing matters. Destroying the other rock. I notice these fuses have a... That's an invulnerable rock, that is. What the... What the heck did I just open up? Honestly. That sound means, uh, you know, I found something secret, but what? Obviously, I can't see it yet because there's a freaking rock in the way. Ah, oh, come on! That should have worked. This is an invulnerable rock. Aha! Oh, 20 rubies. Give me that. Give me. Now. What was that sound for? Where's the mooing coming from? Honestly. Probably the hole. Why is there a cow? Why is there a cow in a hole on Death Mountain? Uh huh. There's a cow in a hole on Death Mountain. Okay, I guess I, I guess I'm just going to climb Death Mountain now. Might as well, you know. I don't got anything else going. Oh dear. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. No no no. No. Giant rocks falling from the sky. Not good. Not good. No 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 no. 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 Why? Why are they aiming for me? How are rocks aiming for me? Oh well, that was short lived actually. It wasn't as bad as I initially thought. Wow, I am bad at this. Alright, maybe not as bad as I originally thought. Aha! More bullets! Alright, I'm gonna get you, you little bastard. Gotcha! Aha! Time to climb the rest of the way. Wow. I mean, this is some, like, straight-up God of War stuff. Took him, like, a day to climb this. I really don't want to talk to him. I really want to open that, though. Looks like a giant rupee. Okay. Oh, jeez. Great Fairy's Fountain. Alright. Now... Oh. This is when I need Particus Rex. 
I don't know the songs by heart. Alright. Alright, you know what? Let me try it. Huh! Well, what do you know? I got it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see this great fairy. That doesn't sound right. Whoa! Good lord! Cover the chitlin's eyes! I don't know if that's meant to be beautiful or not, but she's got a huge proboscis there. Welcome, Hef. It's not Hef Hef, it's Hef. I am the Great Fairy of Power! I am going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now! Alright. She's spitting on me? She's si she is spitting on me. Huh. Great fairy. <laughs> she just totally spat on me. You mastered the secret sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B. Unleash a wave of energy with you spin. I think it's as you spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate Mushroom once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you charge your power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe not. Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a fairy of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. Well, I guess I know where I'm going next. When battle has made you weary, please come back and see me. Okay. See ya, crazy lady. Okay, bye bye Our hero had just gotten magic. Tune in next week to see what the hell he does with it.